So now let's get into the six steps uh, and take you through what we're going to talk about for the next 45 minutes or so. So um, it starts off at the bottom here with this term mastery, uh, which you definitely hear in business now uh, all over the place. But I can tell you since uh, Action Coach has been founded, mastery and these six steps have been the foundation. Uh, so we're going to talk a bit about mastery and our objective to eliminate slash reduce chaos. Can you eliminate chaos? Ooh, not in its entirety, because COVID created some chaos. You had no control over it, but as long as you had really good mastery over the things we're going to speak of today, uh, you would at least be able to react and pivot quicker than those that may not have had mastery in those sections. Um, once you've got mastery, uh, we work into niche uh, and uh, working to create uh, predictable cash flow. Uh, for example, on niche, uh, I always like to say, because I'm typically standing in a Capitol Grill or a, uh, a Roos Chris, although I don't know that I, we'll see how that goes these days, but um, I'm usually standing there and I say, so why are you all here? And why am I making this investment in this dinner? Um, and my answer always is, once they throw some things out there, uh, two or three people of the 15 or so people that I invite to be in the room uh, convert into business coaching. And because of that, I have predictable cash flow for our business. And it works each and every time, which is why we continue to do it. Uh, now, obviously, we've moved that seminar to online. So it's a little bit of a different setup, um, but uh, still the same uh, objective, right? To get this in front of enough business owners uh, that a handful of them will say, ah, I really wanna dig into this idea of business coaching and see uh, whether I can get that three, five, 10 time return on my investment in coaching. Uh, and so that's niche and we gotta figure out inside your business where your niche lies so you too can have predictable cash flow. Then we get into leverage. Leverage is all about efficiencies inside your business. And there's all sorts of specific things we can talk about when we get in here, and we will. Uh, then we go on to obviously one of the things I speak often about, uh, which is team, which helps you build that structure for growth. Uh, as you reuse your time differently. So when you're doing something alone, building the business, you're alone, you're alone, you're alone. All of a sudden you hire somebody, you're now two times as productive. Continue to build out that team uh, and you have more and more structure for growth. Uh, then we get into synergy, which is this time where uh, you are now running uh, a well-oiled machine. Possibly someone else can lead it for you uh, and uh, have a business start to work without you. Uh, and then ultimately, depending on your objective with your business, um, it can become a passive income. You could sell your business. The idea is you've got your business to a point where uh, it is just purely producing results for you and you spend the majority of your time working on uh, not in the business because you have built it to work for you. So our goal is to move you through these six steps. Not everybody's in the same place. We don't have a cookie cutter approach um, to our business coaching. So if we pick up a company and they got a real team problem, we're going to jump into team. Right? We're going to create a coaching plan that jumps into team first, that will circle our, our way back to mastery and make sure that the foundation of the business is right. But we're going to tackle what you need tackled to make sure that your investment gives you back the return you're looking for very quickly. Uh, we talk about getting uh, a big in, uh, a return on your investment back within 17 weeks, essentially your coaching investment back within 17 weeks. Um, but we have to figure out where those issues lie first.